I'm Matt Lavery. I'm a doctoral student here in the College of Education, and my work has been primarily centered around the teacher work sample. Um, but prior to that, uh, my bachelor's education was in elementary education and special education. I was in a dual certification program up in Pennsylvania, hence why they call it special ed and not ESE. Um, and my first teaching job was here in Florida, uh, down in Osceola County. How many Osceola County folk? Rock on. Um, I taught for six years in a middle school down there. The most fabulous teaching assignment I ever could have asked for. You'll hear a little bit about why later. Um, I had middle grades integrated curriculum certification, which is uh, not actually offered anymore, um, which is actually a little bit good for you because it's great for job security, but it really stinks for getting good at the same thing. So I taught a little bit of math, taught a little bit of social studies, taught a little bit of science, um, because they could always move me to fill a vacancy. And so my experience is varied, um, which actually kind of helps with this, because I'm able to pull some examples from a variety of different places. Um, but I want to start, the teacher work sample is all about being effective. And so for a moment, I want you to think about what it means to be an effective teacher. And the best way to do this is you, you've all been in school for a while, right? I, there's a middle school that I work with now that I, I tell my students I'm in the 23rd grade. Um, so just kind of, maybe you haven't been in school as long as that, but you've been in school for a long time. You've had a lot of teachers. You can probably think of a teacher that's really, really effective. Not your favorite teacher, not a fun person, but the teacher from whom you learned a ton. Get that teacher in your mind. Is there anyone who has not yet thought of someone? Okay. Now, with that teacher in mind, think about what made that teacher so effective. I want you to jot down just a couple words or short phrases of what made that teacher so effective. Why did you learn so much from that particular teacher? Okay, now you might recognize where this is going, right? This is one of those strategies that, that you've probably learned in your classes. Think, pair, what's the next step? Share. Oh, brilliant. Share with the person next to you, but don't just tell them what you wrote down. I want you to collaborate. See if you can identify the things that your teachers have in common. What are those common elements of effective teaching that you've identified? Does anyone want to share some of the things that, that are qualities of an effective teacher that you had in common, the things that, that you really came to, to agreement on? Yes, ma'am. Passion for their subject. Ooh, passion for their subject. I'll go ahead and repeat so that everybody can hear. Yes? Um, the ability to relate the content to issues. Relating the content to student issues, making it relevant for them. OK, brilliant. What else do we have? Yes, ma'am? Classroom management. That's huge, isn't it? Uh, someone, someone from this side. Yes, ma'am. OK, I like that. Provided multiple ways to express knowledge. So there's not just the one way to show that you've got it. There were several. Okay, and someone from the back. Wave at me, because I've got lights in my face. Yes, ma'am. Very organized. That's very important, too. Brilliant. So the idea behind the teacher work sample is this idea of effectiveness. The teacher work sample is designed to help you be as effective as possible. Now, you've talked about some of the qualities that make effective teachers. Remember that middle school I told you that was the best teaching assignment of, of my life, probably the best teaching assignment anywhere? One of the primary reasons why I think so fondly of that assignment is because of the principal that hired me for that job. I served under her for, for two years before she moved on, but she was still involved at the school. She's an educational giant. And when I say educational giant, I mean that in every sense of the word. She had a giant's knowledge and skill. She had a giant's energy. 
and passion. She loved her subject, she loved kids, and all of this giant-sized energy was crammed into a five-foot frame. It, it was amazing to see. Like, I, but she would tell us that teachers are like bus drivers. Now you're like, okay, where's this going? <laughs> Mrs. Neuer used to tell us, as a teacher, you've got some place that you're trying to go. And she'd say, you want to take your students to the end of your curriculum, your, your, your curriculum map, your curriculum calendar. You have all this stuff that you want to, to get done, and so you're trying to get to the end. But when you get there, if you turn around and see this, you had absolutely no reason whatsoever to have made the trip. If you get there, but your students don't, what good is it? And so her mantra, and I can still hear her voice say it, her mantra was, you got to keep the kids on the bus. And so that became our tagline for one another. Teachers would talk to one another and say, you know, I think they fell off the bus. And, and if we're driving ahead and we're like, hey, we're not sure why, not, why they're not getting it, and one of our colleagues would say to us, well, did you check and see if there's anybody on the bus? Like, that was, that was our code for one another about effectiveness. So I'd like to use that metaphor because the teacher work sample really, really aligns well to that metaphor as we go forward because I think it'll really help you grab onto the concepts. It also lines up with what research tells us effective teachers do. Okay? Effective teachers know their students. They set learning goals for them that are tailored for those students. They assess student learning. They design solid, solid instruction, really effective instruction. They adjust that instruction in response to their students' needs. Analyze their students' learning so that they can reflect on it and become more effective in the future. That's the research on what effective teachers do. Notice there's seven of them. The teacher work sample has seven components that directly align with those things. Now, these are seven written components. You're going to document these seven things along the way. Please understand, these seven components are designed to reflect what effective teachers do, which means they are not done all at once at the end after you've done your unit. These seven components are completed individually throughout the process over time. Now, the TWS is a big deal. I will admit to you that it's, it, it's, a, it's a monumental project, but it is meaningful. However, if you wait till the last minute and do it all at once, you will hate the teacher work sample you will probably think murderous thoughts of me for having mentioned it to you. <laughs> Don't procrastinate. In the, in the candidate feedback survey that I'm going to talk to you about closer to the end, several candidates emphasized that for you all. They weren't telling us about that. They said, tell future candidates, don't procrastinate. OK, how many procrastinators do I have in the room? OK, notice my hand is up too. All right. Your coordinator might help you out with that by setting deadlines along the way so that component one is due at this time, component two is due at this time. Even if they don't, spread it out. Set yourself deadlines. Get someone that, that, that you know, that you care about, that cares about you to keep you accountable for those deadlines. The quickest way to ruin this whole experience is to do it all at once. I don't want to get emails asking for help on the last day of internship. Yes, that happened. Don't be those people, all right? 
Now, if you do it the way it's designed, spread it out, you will have a ridiculous amount of success with this. I'm not going to tell you that you will love the teacher work sample, because I love the teacher work sample. I, 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 don't, I don't think you'll catch my particular brand of insanity, but I do believe that you will deeply appreciate the teacher work sample and what it does for you and your formation as a teacher. Lastly, it aligns with this. Now, you're all students in the College of Education. You've seen this before, right? So how many of you looked at this, the conceptual framework that guides all the curriculum and programs in the College of Education? How many of you looked at this and said, oh, that's what I got to do? No? No? OK. Well, I've delved into the research behind this, and it really is a very meaningful framework. But I want to focus your attention here. The key for professional educators is reflection, reflective practice. And the teacher work sample supports that. Better still, you're going to have data to support your reflection, which is why I like to say the teacher work sample supports data-informed reflective practice. You can be a reflective practitioner, but when you can do it with data, you've got a leg up on all the people who are currently out in the field already teaching. Now, I don't know how much you've heard about the new evaluation systems, but they are not coming, they are here. And they are built on data. Going through this process is going to equip you to understand that to analyze data, and to defend your worth as a teacher. God forbid the, the day comes that you have to defend your worth as a teacher, but this process will equip you to do it. Do I have a small measure of buy-in? Okay. Because I haven't even hit the best part yet. It also helps you. Okay? The teacher work sample shows your personal impact on student learning, and that can be a transformative experience. It also reveals your strengths as a teacher, and it gives you specific feedback on the methods that you choose to use. So it's not just do this and, oh, that seemed to work, but you get specific feedback so you can tell how well it worked. I love this one. It helps you to think and speak like a professional. You know, all the people out there that have the jobs that you want, well, I better not assume, would you all like a job teaching? OK, how many of you don't want a job teaching? No? OK. So all the people out there that have the jobs that you want, they're having professional conversations about topics like data-informed instruction, differentiation, standards-based instruction. They're having these conversations. How cool would it be to show up at an interview and speak their language with them? Enter into those conversations with them. Wow, I don't know where you came from, but you're on my faculty now. Which is why being able to have those conversations can help you score a job. You've been preparing for this job. I would really like to help you get one, okay? So, in addition to keeping your students on the bus, the teacher work sample can help you do those things.